the state's top dog is a four-legged member of the Phoenix Police Department. We'll tell you how Jake of the K-9 unit helps Phoenix officers fight crime. Smoke alarms could be the key to saving lives in your home. We'll have tips from the experts to keep your family safe. I'm Councilman Dave Siebert, and that's coming up next on The Issues. Welcome to On the Issues. I'm City Councilman Dave Siebert. A Phoenix Police K-9 unit dog just won what's called the Arizona Top Dog Award at competition. Jake and his handler, Officer Tim Norton, beat out more than 50 other teams from all around the country. They'll give us a demonstration just outside the Phoenix 11 studio. Jake down. Well, Officer Norton, it's good to see you again. Nice to see you, sir. This is a new dog. I haven't met this one before. This is Jake. Jake is a uh, three-year-old shepherd from the uh, Czechoslovakia. Really? Yes. Beautiful dog. Beautiful dog. And he just won several awards. Let's look at yes. his... Uh... He... Down. He just won uh, top dog for the second year row at the Desert Dog Canine Trials in Scottsdale. Yeah, so uh, he has a first place for tactical building search. First place for top overall team and first place for tactical agility. Yes. And so that's pretty impressive. Did he win other awards besides those Yes, three? he's got a uh, fifth place building search award and a second place area search award too. So very well-rounded dog. And yes, sir. Very good at what he does. How long have you been doing this? I'm going on officer. nine years now as a canine handler for the police department. Nine years as a, as a canine officer. Yes, I, I saw you at the Thunderbird trials about eight years ago. You yes, did very sir. well and came in second on that one? Second with my uh, old dog, Axel. Yes, so, sir. yeah, I did very well. And so this is the top dog for Arizona. In fact, uh, 50 other teams, I, I 53 guess. 53 other dogs we competed against from all over the West Coast and uh, military as well. Wow, that is fantastic. Now, you have some demonstrations for us today. So you and Jake are going to show us. Uh, why don't you explain what you're going to do first? The first thing we're going to do, Councilman, is uh, we're going to demonstrate a narcotic search on this vehicle over here and show one of the many profiles that this dog can do for us. Now, this is a random vehicle out from city. For, just kidding. <laughs> so, uh, I'll give these to okay. you to hold, and we'll uh, go to work. Jake, heel. 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 Get it out. Get it out the front of it. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So, so now what we did, sir, is Jake obviously located the narcotics that were in the vehicle. He's telling me by scratching, and I gave him a toy for him to telling me where it is. Reinforcing the behavior. Exactly. Great. What a wonderful animal. Beautiful, too. <laughs> and so... Um, He's good at narcotics. Jake, now no. the next the next thing you're going to do is one of our other profiles that we see is a article search or what we call evidence locating. If a police officer loses or knows that there's an article in high grass bushes or something like that, we can send a dog in to find that article for us. So some suspect threw something they saw him throw it. And you it know could it's be in a, an area, but you exactly don't. we we square it off and say it's between here and here, and this is where we need to look to find it. Right. It could be anything for him to find, a gun, money, paper, clothes, it okay. could be anything. Now, how long does it really train, take to train a dog, you know, to this level? You know, this is clearly the top dog, but how long, he's three years old, how, how much training? We, basic training was 500 hours, then another 120 hours for narcotics school, and two days a week of just upkeep maintenance training on them. And, and certainly uh, an exceptional job on your part because to take a dog three years old, win top dog two years in a row. Yes, sir. That is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, let's let's have right. him uh, find Jake. something. Out. Out. Good boy. Heel, Jake. Jake, sit. Search lost. Search lost. Good boy. What Jake was looking for 
was a coin. Just Jake down. Coin. See, and if you notice, Councilman, that he laid down right in front of it, Jake down. Instead of picking it up and bringing it, but we don't want to destroy any yeah, evidence. So, or if it was a gun, we didn't want it to discharge in his mouth. Right, so he, he laid down right in front of it. And he keeps pointing on it until I verify it's there. Then he gets a toy for his. I want you to show again how small that really is. And it was buried in the grass. I couldn't even see it. From here, I could not see it. No. And he was able to find that in, buried in the grass. Just by his scent. Just by the scent. That is fantastic. Good boy, Jake. Okay, and he also protects you. He yes, he does. He We're going to do a little demonstration on that right now. Okay. We have a uh, detective at the other end with what we call a bite sleeve on. We're going to give him a command to give up. Uh, he will the first time. The second time he won't. And we'll show you what Jake does then. Great. Jake, heel. 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 Down. Thanks, please stop right there. I'm gonna release my dog. Fuss. Jake, out, down. Here. Good boy, here. Good boy. Reward him. Down. Very good, very good. Now this time he's not gonna give up. Stop right there, I'm gonna release my dog. Fuss. Fuss. Good boy. Jake, out, down. Bad guy, take a step back. Yeah. Down. Good boy, Jake. Good boy, get that bad guy. Good boy, get that bad guy. Jake, out. Here. Down. Well, I can tell you, there's no doubt I can see why he's top dog. I mean, when you gave that command, it was just instant. He was, he was off the, uh, the suspect, and uh, the moment the suspect went to attack you, yes. Jake was on him. That, that's, that is quite a part. He has to be focused on me and for my safety. And, you know, it's, we've been to get Jake. Jake, here. It's a, it's a game to Jake which he loves to play. And as, as long as he sees that toy, it's a toy to him, he'll want to go after it. But he's very well disciplined in my commands for him. How many dogs do we have in the canine unit now? Uh, we have 18 dogs in the, on the streets, working the streets, and we have six bomb dogs at the airport, and we have five narcotic dogs that work at the airport also. So it's not unusual for people going through the airport to see the bomb dogs. They can see them sniffing Correct. for any kind the, of explosive. The bomb dogs walk around all the terminals and they're very open so people can see them and pet their dogs. Right, and the drug dogs, they're behind the scenes? They're behind the scenes, mostly in the luggage and cargo area for the uh, Looking airplanes. For checking, checking the luggage. Exactly. Great. Well, I tell you what, I, I can just imagine how much training goes into that to have a dog that minds that well and is that well disciplined. I can see why he was able to win three first place and also the top dog award. Isn't that right, Jake? You're quite a, quite a character, aren't you? <laughs> and very gentle. You know, you, yes. you notice, you know, I've seen some of the dogs that are a little more hyper. Exactly. And, and he just, just so gentle. And... Uh, well, that's one of the things when I first got him, our bond. We started building that bond right away, and I have a three-year-old son, and he started bonding with him as well. But when Jake's in a police car and we're going to work, he knows it's work time. When at home, he knows it's relax time. So when you put on the uniform, I bet he can tell. Yes. He knows it's time to go to work. And if I leave him home, for, if I'm going out uh, to talk or something in uniform and I don't take him, he'll sit at the garage door whining. <laughs> so, well, that is fantastic. So 18 dogs that are in patrol. So those are the ones that the people will see when the canine unit comes by if you're trying to make a, an arrest Correct. or a backup. Right. Those are the ones that people see on the road are those 18. Yes, sir, it is. Are they uh, all, uh, what are the breeds? You know, he's a shepherd. He's a shepherd. We have what's called a Dutch shepherd, and we also have what's just called a Belgian Malinois. It's a smaller type dog, a little bit more hyper, like you said. Fully down. I noticed uh, a lot of the commands are in uh, German. Some, some oh. of his commands are in German, some are in English. The basic ones I kept in English. The, the ones where he knows I'm really going to need him to perform are in uh, German. So, 
Very good. And when you went to the to the trials and you're competing against 53 other dogs, they all pretty much the same same breeds, mainly shepherds and, and mostly Belgians. shepherds and Belgian Malinois. Yes, sir. Uh, those are the primary dogs that you see across the country. I know years ago you would see some other breeds, um, uh, Rottweilers and others, and, and you don't see those much anymore. Not out this way. Back east they still use them because of the climate and temperature, but out here they find that they cannot handle the heat as well as a Shepherd or a Malinois. Really? Yes, sir. Because I noticed uh, some of the departments used to use it and, and you don't see it anymore. Well, Jake, it's been great having you on the show. You going to show off your medals again? Let's take a look at these again. That is just fantastic. Three first place and Arizona's top dog. Officer Norton and Jake, thank you very much for being here today. Thank, thank you, thank you for, for taking time us. out of your busy schedule. And the main thing is, be safe out on the streets. We appreciate everything that you do. Thank you very much, sir. And we'll come right back.